You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As I today's Bible, July 24th, 2021. This is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Romans chapter 15, verse 113. We who are strong ought to bear with the failing of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but it is written, The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. May the God who give in endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind towards each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one, one voice you may glorify the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, accept one another. Then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God, for I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth, so that the promises made to the patriarchs might be confirmed, and moreover, the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles, I will sing the praises of your name. Again it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and all the people extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Je Jesse will spring up one who will rise to rule over the nations. In him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As I read Bible, July 24th, 2021. This is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Romans chapter 15, verse 113. We who are strong ought to bear with the failing of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but it is written, The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. May the God who give in endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind towards each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one, one voice you may glorify the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, accept one another. Then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God, for I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth, so that the promises made to the patriarchs might be confirmed, and moreover, the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles, I will sing the praises of your name. Again it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people, and again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and all the people extol him, and again, Isaiah says, The root of Je Jesse will spring up one who will rise to rule over the nations, in him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.
You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Hu. And today's Bible, July 24th, 2021, preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that we all cast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Jesus Mystery Message, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10 to 31. And by what by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties, again and again. He offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. And since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First, he says, This is a covenant I will make with them. After that time, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. A call to preserve in faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain, that is, his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching, and if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Anyone who rejects the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much more servicely do you think? Someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sacrificed them, and who has insulted the Spirit of grace. For we know him who said, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, and again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God.